here's a really advanced lesson. And actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this here. And I'm going to remove this so we can see the charts because it's kind of important. So what I want you to focus on right now is look at the bullish order flow, okay, much longer time frame, and look at the amount of green candles. And green means that the price action closed above the open. Okay, so it opened here, closed here, opened here, closed here. So a lot more green professional closes during this bullish run. Now look what we started to get over here as we started to turn around. We started to get indecision. And we, indecision meaning smaller candles and more frequent closes below the open. So we had professional bearish closes. So these, this is kind of like the, the way I explain this in the coaching is you're basically making the difference between reading the notes and playing the song. So if you could just look at a chart from the bigger picture, that's kind of like looking at the song. But if you start to read the notes, you start to understand the song a little bit better. I know that sounds corny, but it 100% is an advanced lesson. So you can start to see over here, we start getting a lot less green candles. We start getting a lot more indecision where it opens and closes, and especially start getting a lot more red candles where we're closing below the open. And that precipitated this monster move down. Now, what did we end up getting in the last... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. We had one green candle, which was basically an overreaction to the upside after we got hammered these two days. So a couple of days of consolidation and then a bounce. Then we get another indecision candle, close below the open, close below the open, close below the open. So what you're learning right now is what's known as tape reading from me, where you do a lot more than just look at the high, look at the low, look at the trend. You actually start to pay attention to what's going on. Now, this implies we're going lower, implies we're going lower in the short term. And that's a big distinction because that's going to affect how long you hold your trades. We don't have long-term bearish order flow. We have short-term bearish momentum combined with some short-term signals that sellers are controlling the close. So you would go into the day saying the short side of the market has a slightly higher probability because of what's going on recently, you would trade for cash flow to the short side and to the long side if you chose to trade one of these stocks that were strong. You would not be looking to build a position because of the conflict between the long-term picture, the short-term momentum, and the last couple of days. That's a really advanced lesson, and I hope you take that one and, and take some good notes because that's not something very many people learn.